so today I got Galaxy S10 5G yes uh, this mobile phone was uh, having some issues with the power button and Bixby button so it got fixed now this phone it is actually patch rooted patch rooted means that uh, the IME got changed and uh, the network is working right now so I can see that the model number is showing here is G9 double seven b galaxy s10 5g if i tap on software information so the current version on this mobile phone is having one ui 3.1 android version 11. now one more thing here just check the base band base band model number is showing g 977 n and uh, build number model number is showing g 977p which means that mobile phone is not g 977b it is actually korea variant having the model number of g 77n and one more thing that we can find out what variant is this you can see that service provider software information showing g 977b but if we go further here it is skc skc means that this is the korea variant device in, in korea they are having few network skc is one of them now uh, we can find what exactly model we have by booting the mobile phone into odin mode and we can check the model number over here also <music> So basically if I see that uh, this mobile phone is having G977 B which means that this is not exactly the model that currently showing that is why I want to make the video to show that this is the exactly model number that we have the baseband and the build number both are having a difference usually the Korean variant coming with the model number starting from the G977N and uh, global variant will have different model number and the Europe variant will have G977B. Now I will flash the stock firmware on uh, this mobile phone but before flashing this uh, firmware we have to do few things that is in case if uh, I have any accounts in manage account I will remove all the account uh, from this section then uh, if uh, and uh, we'll go to lock screen and we'll select this uh, screen lock as a swipe to turn it off must check the battery must be charged around like 30 40 50 percent so the mobile phone can get the firmware easily and also so we have to save all the internal storage data this will remove everything on the storage the stock firmware will flash on the both either if the bootloader is unlocked or if the bootloader is relock now i will power off the mobile phone i am going to do uh, practical and that will be I have downloaded both firmware the G977 B which is uh, of the Europe variant BTU and G977 N the Korea variant and I have uh, extract both firmware over here will start the flashing I have installed the Samsung USB driver already on my windows and uh, I will open the Odin then I will double click the Odin on this window I will click OK and then on the Odin I will select the files first clicking BL will go to downloaded folder where I have extracted the firmware file and I will select the file starting from the BL by double clicking on it then I will click AP and I will select the AP file then I will select and then I will click CP will go to select the CP file then last csc and selecting csc so the audience is ready to flash the files so here we have to boot the mobile phone into audience mode the mobile phone must be power off press and hold the volume down key and big speed key then uh, connect the cable and check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer 
press and hold the volume down key big speed key then connect the cable the warning screen will get appears on your mobile phone to release both keys then press the volume up key to boot the mobile phone into audio mode now here we can check the model number let me show okay we can see clearly product name is G977N like this is the Korea variant this is not the Europe variant and the current binary is uh, custom yes this mobile phone is having a patch firmware which was uh, BTU uh, the Europe firmware that is why it is not official it is custom and kg street must be checking like if you want to flash custom rica rom so the rom currently which is on this mobile phone is also a ported rom so the kg street will show checking the frp lock is off the oem lock is also off and the bootloader is already unlocked so the mobile phone is ready to get the firmware and on the computer screen the Odin is already detected my mobile phone now I will click on start let's see if the firmware of the Europe variant can get on this mobile phone the on the Korea variant no as you can see that it shows fail and all threads completed succeeded zero failed one so i cannot flash the stock europe firmware on the variant korea variant mobile phone i can flash the ported customized rom but i cannot flash the stock port uh, stock firmware now what i will do i will click reset then i will click bl once again and i will go to my downloaded folder then I will double click the extracted folder of the Korea variant firmware SKC because I have seen that the service provider software information was showing SKC which means that SKC firmware we can flash on it so I will open the extracted folder of the Korea variant firmware then I will select but I have to do few modification over here I will click on this file then I will press F2 and I will erase the last few things dot md5 press enter double press enter key once again and I will do the the thing same things with other files And then I will double click the BL file because I have uh, I have to select the files on the Odin then I will click AP and I will select the AP file then I will uh, select CP and will select the CP file then CSC and CSC file so the Odin is ready but we have to reboot the mobile phone into Odin mode once again if we try to flash the the firmware like in this situation so the firmware will not get flash because the Odin mode or Odin screen is corrupted right now we were trying to flash or I was trying to flash the stock firmware of the Europe variant on the Korea variant for rebooting the mobile phone into once into Odin mode once again press and hold the volume down key big speed key and then power key Okay, just hold both keys do not release wait it's not working I will do it once again sometime the big speed key does not work properly this is the oldest phone and it was used in not in good hands so the buttons are little bit okay I will press all keys like press volume up volume down big speed key and power key so the phone you got booted into recovery will uh, will press the power key on the reboot system now and uh, i will try to boot yes now this time i got the audience screen once again by 
pressing the volume down key and Bixby key will press the volume up key once to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode once again. So the Odin detected the mobile phone once again. Now this time I will click start and definitely the flashing of the firmware will not get interrupted. So it will take a little time so we have to wait now. The mobile phone will get reboot automatically when flashing done and this means that the bootloader is already unlocked. It will appear always when we reboot the mobile phone or when we restart the mobile phone. So Odin is showing pass which means that everything done. I will click reset and I will click exit over here and I am done from the computer and i can disconnect the cable from the mobile phone now all i have to do is to wait to let the mobile phone boot but i can see that recovery appears because the mobile phone was having a patch from here so that is why this thing came on this screen it usually it will not come if you are having a stock firmware if you are updating manually it will not come but if it comes we have to do the factory data reset uh, press the volume down key to select the wipe data factory reset then press the power key to start doing it then select, select press the volume down key factory data reset press power key it is started just wait let it be done and complete it now on the reboot system now press the power key to reboot the mobile phone now the phone will start booting to the stock firmware of the korea variant g977 and it will take a time so we have to wait First booting complete. I will complete the setup screen. So my Galaxy S10 5G Korea variant is back to the stock original firmware. We'll go to about phone and this time I can see that uh, the model number is got changed from G977B to 977N. We'll go to software information and the phone got updated to 4.1, One UI 4.1, and white version 12. Now B spend is also showing G977N, and the build number is also showing G977N. The B spend must be on this screen, otherwise, if, if it is showing nothing then we are in trouble and if I go to serv service provider software version and I can see that the things are okay now so the phone got back to stock firmware and uh, I can use the phone without uh, the network because this phone is not it will not work in my country on the network i can use for custom rom i can use for as a wi-fi but i cannot use like inserting a sim card and uh, using it the way we use other phones thank you for watching the video we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye